Howdy y'all! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Here we are doing the 10th episode of webcomic advice. Today we are talking about paneling, story, boarding, the format of it, and we will also be talking about learning from other artists. Just to get started, so storyboarding the importance of learning about storyboarding it is just honestly it's, honestly if you are very already familiar with this you already know because it, it's that it's that common that this this type of knowledge needs to be you know and if you don't know about it it is very popular and it's very critical in our fields to understand storyboarding and you can basically i'm actually going to give you all an example so this is the second page that we're working on but actually i'm going to give you all an example of storyboarding we're going to go a little bit into composition but while I am doing that, let's talk about learning from other artists. So, oh yeah, and I also have my <laughs> compression gloves on because I sprained my ankle recently, y'all, and I'm just, I'm not gonna lie. It's important to communicate, like, when you're stressed out. I know, I just have to readjust because I don't I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright. So for learning from other artists, when it comes to web comics or this industry in general, the reason why it is so important to quote unquote learn from other artists learn from other artists. Pick your favorite artist. Why do you like them? Is it because of their aesthetic? A good example is going on Webtoon Canvas, not sponsored, and looking up or just bumping into, like, what comics do you want to read, you know? Why do you like these artists? And a lot of times it's because of the way they tell stories. Um, a good chunk, I, would, I don't want to say 90, but a good like 75%. The first thing you look at when you go into a comic is the paneling. So are the panels, right, whenever you scroll. Webtoon, the difference between Webtoon and the traditional comic format, which I should have actually said this in episode 1, but we're on episode 10 now and that's why... I Continue, decided to continue to do this as a series because if I was going to just give y'all a little bit of information and then y'all went ahead and did this, I guess that would be kind of the worst thing for me only because my interest is f for you to want to click on the next episode just in case you, you know, need some more information on the topic because comic making isn't something... I mean, yeah, you can just like be like, oh yeah, I'm just going to do it for a couple of weeks and then just stop. But do you really expect yourself to, you know what I'm saying, like have a fully fleshed out comic in just a couple of weeks? The reality is you can have like a easy four by four comic, simple characters, you can do it. But you want, you want, com you want characters where they're like unraveling things and you want a story where you're just like, oh my gosh, like... I didn't even know that was going to happen and what is going on? You know, it's it takes a lot more time and I would even say years. So this is an example of paneling, right? When I'm scrolling on Webtoon, this would be the first panel, second panel, third panel, fourth panel. Some people get even more complicated. So when I'm like scrolling through it, right, some people will divide up the panels into like... Literally, wherever your pen or pencil naturally wants to kind of, like, make these adjust adjustments, that's kind of how you, like, just 
go with the flow. And in these sections, that it would be like your characters right here, the circles representing the character. And this is me literally storyboarding. Storyboarding and composition is, I don't know if, um, if it's too bright. Oh, wow, you can see it a lot better. But, okay, so basically these squares would be the panels and you would be scrolling, right? And then the it's like in composition, you simplify your complex idea down to symbols in a way that when you look at the page you immediately know right and these symbols need to be identifiable to you specifically so when you go and you put in the you take a picture of this you blow it up in your digital space and you have it on your accurate measurements you can put in the details and you can go in and it's just not complicated so i love talking to you about y'all about this uh but today is not like my day honestly like i literally sprained my ankle i have to do all of this stuff and i'm so tired y'all <laughs> but i'm really grateful because i have so many ideas that I want to tell you all about, but it seems like each time that I tell somebody about an idea, it's like they want bad at bad on me, even though I like what the heck, like what the what did I, I literally am like existing, and that person just like mm, I don't like you. I'm like okay, like if you're a stranger, that's fine, but if like you you stayed for a for a hot minute and you know what's going on like my you know what i'm saying you're a human being i'm a human being i want to be treated as a human being too and my ankle really hurts like and i'm not gonna lie like when i first started this it was like, oh, yeah, Bob Ross. Like, that's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just wanted it to be on that sort of level. But you can never copy another artist. You can be inspired by an artist. But I'm I'm, I'm telling y'all, it's, it's, you know, it's just not what we were made to do. We were made to create. It's just that now we're in a society where it is our currency. Uh, quite so. So, when it comes to web comics and making sure that the paneling is um, certain audience members have certain panel like taste sometimes the audience won't care that you know your panels are all smushed together but if y'all have checked out the festival and dreams on webtoon it is free right now the panels are very spaced out i don't personally i do not enjoy really cramped up panels unless something really quickly is happening so this is where we talk about flow and paying attention to your natural state of flow when you're working on your webcomic. When you work on your webcomic, do you happen to find yourself, you know, doing this for a couple of hours and then taking a break, coming back 30 minutes later, working on it, on it again for a couple of hours? Do you see yourself only doing this on the weekends everybody is completely different and the worst thing right now currently advice i could give you is to rush your story don't ever rush your story if it takes a couple of days to get things figured out my best friend and my brother <laughs> we're working on a i won't spill too much of the details but we're working on a comic 
and, I, and I'll probably tell y'all later, but honestly, he doesn't, like, we have a draft title name for it, but he, he won't name it until it's finished. And for me, the Festival of Dreams, I kind of already knew the name. That's why I'm able to just say it and speak on it. Everybody is completely different when it comes to that, but you, you must do the work. And discipline is <laughs> not easy. Let's move over here. Because I, I like this space, but I'm, I have to draft up some ideas I promised myself. So let me see. As artists, we sacrifice so much and... Recently, I have been very angry. I've been very frustrated. I've been very dissatisfied with my work. I want to do better. And, you know, I do need to forgive myself for the past mistakes that I've made so that I can, I can move forward because this is ridiculous. <laughs> um, I think people especially when they look at my Instagram, they see this, like, we show what we want to show. You show what, what you show. Then this is how I love how intellectual we're coming to be and not depending so much on ignorance anymore. And just becoming more understanding, peaceful human beings because this is insane. <laughs> my ankle hurts people <laughs> so <clears throat> um one of my favorite gamers what did he say he's like a breaking ankles oh my gosh yeah so if you know who i'm talking about comment down below like for real like <laughs> and yeah we kind of touched on this topic i actually might do a part two and i'm so grateful to you guys for joining me today i know i didn't really dig as deep as i intended for for um this part in our our series but the main intention is to kind of just set the mind on it because you know, mentally preparing for it is the best thing a, a human being can do for themselves. So thank you for taking the time to want to do better for yourself, make yourself happier, and yeah, <laughs> stay hydrated. Thank you. Au revoir.